Yeah, and now we need to read uh, the values from the input fields uh, and then uh, apply some, some event uh, or function to this click event. When you click this login button, uh, for now we are going to just uh, console log this email and password. But if you can do this uh, when you uh, click the login button, then it means that you can send this uh, uh, data uh, wherever uh, you want, so basically to the backend uh, as a post request. So let's do uh, with the next, and for the next, uh, it's extremely easy to achieve this. So in this script uh, tag, there's a export default, and we need to uh, write the email and password as a field, and then assign uh, these uh, variables to this uh, imp input field. So whenever somebody types uh, the email, it will be assigned to this email variable. And when you want to uh, add some event, uh, for example, the click event, uh, you are typing like add click, uh, call this login handler function. And the functions are defined in the Max.js inside the methods. Uh, so you can uh, type, uh, this is a login handler, and that means that when somebody cl clicks this login button, it will call this login handler function. And basically the login handler function just prepare for us this object uh, using this email and this password variable values. And uh, let's just quickly test it. Uh, so this is my email, this is my password. Oh, let's just open this console log, console log, wait. Yeah, uh, if you, uh, yeah. Uh, so we have this um, email field with the value and the password field with the password value. This is a, uh, a prepared object inside the login handler. And of course, for the same thing we need to do uh, with the sign up, uh, we are going to add a bunch of new variables here. So this is a first name, last name, email and password. And as you see, uh, like there's a V model. So this is uh, the needs to be added here in order to sync this value. And of course, there's a click event with a sign up handler. And we are again trying to prepare some sign up object and log this. Uh, here, mm, the first name and last name uh, keys are uh, defined as a <coughs> Python variable names because uh, we need to do the same thing with the Python side, accepting this value. And uh, this is uh, pretty similar to the Python language. Yeah, let's just quickly s uh, check this sign up. And I assume like sign up. Let's just, yeah. So shackle uh, the last name, the email and the password. Let's just quickly check if it worked and yeah. Uh, as you see, the first name and uh, the last name, email and password are populated from the, our input field. That means that you, if you uh, push this uh, sign up and send the post request to the, uh, say for the register endpoint, it will, uh, it will be sent as a JSON. And that, that's pretty simple uh, uh, login and sign up form. And uh, we grab uh, this code from the internet and uh, we have applied some Max.js stuff here. Uh, I assume the next thing that uh, we need to install um, Max.auth package and configure it properly. Yeah, see you in the next video.